Hi, it's Kylie Koo. Welcome to my studio. So today I'm going to be working on a piece for the May Art and Soul Studio Facebook group prompt challenge. This is my prompt slash challenge to the group. And, you know, if you're not in the group and want to become a member, please just send us a join request. But even if you don't want to be, I hope that you can get something of interest from this video. So my challenge this month to the Art and Soul Studio Facebook group members is to be your own inspiration. Now, we all, or I, I suspect, you know, most of you watching, we take inspiration from a lot of different places, from a lot of different artists, crafters, uh, you know, the whole range of, of creatives. We take inspiration. But what I want to say to you today is... You can be your own inspiration as well. Take inspiration from some of the things that you've done. And I got my idea from a while back on, on Facebook, maybe even a couple of years ago. There was a thing going round where it was to show five pieces of your work over five days and then you tagged other people. Well, Diana, my co-host of the group, had tagged me, so I showed five pieces. And this came up in my timeline a month or so ago and, and it just got me to thinking because it was from a project that I was doing where I was doing 100 faces. I didn't get them finished, but this is the one, that, or this is one of the things that I'd shown. Now, I, I loved doing this piece. I called her Wild Thing because it was just something wild about the way she came together. It was a mixture of paints, uh, I can see white acrylic in here, I think I used ink tents and obviously water to blend a lot of it out. And I worked very quickly on her, so that, that was again where I kind of got the, the wild thing from. In fact, I'm sure there's a piece here, can't quite see it now, but I'm sure I went right through the page. It's probably where I've stuck on some white paint or, or gesso there. So this project, I didn't get it finished, I think I got up to, let me see number 32. So I did 32 faces. So one of these days I might go back to it, start again. But I want to use this as my inspiration for the piece that I'm going to create today. And by using her as inspiration, what I'm saying to you to do is to take a piece of your work and let it inspire you for what you do now. Don't need to do an exact copy. You can do a copy if you want and see if there's things that you want to do differently. You could take the colour from something and use that as your inspiration. You could look and say, oh, that colour of blue in there, I want to do something with that. It doesn't have to be a portrait or, or, or a, a face of any sort. It can be whatever you want, you know, a mixed media piece, a watercolour piece. It could even be a journal that you've made. So use that as your inspiration for something to do this month. And what I would invite you to do is, if you want to share it in the Facebook group, show your original piece and then show what you create from it. So from t t for me today, I want to take some of this, you know, the pink. It's not a colour I work with a lot, so there's something about trying to work with that again. I kind of like the shape of her face. It's almost kind of triangular, but I might change it up a little bit. And I'm going to use different materials. It's still going to be a mixed media piece, but I'm going to start off with watercolours. And I just want to take that notion of wild thing as my inspiration. So I'm actually going to work on a large piece of A3 uh, 300 GSM watercolour paper and uh, it is hot pressed so it's quite a smooth paper. So A3 is 11.7 inches by 16 and a half inches and it's £140. So it's not all going to fit in on the page, on the camera. I'm going to do it this way. But I'll let you see close-ups of what I'm doing as I move along and... Uh, I think this is going to take me a little while, so it's more likely to be a process video rather than a kind of tutorial because I think this will take me quite a while to work on. But I'll do the rest as a bit of a voiceover. So, hope you enjoy this, this prompt, this challenge for me, and uh, see you on the other side. So I've ended up with over two hours of film, so that doesn't include some of the time I left in between for drying. Although, to be honest, because it was quite a hot day, I didn't allow 
too much time for drying so I did at times end up painting wet on wet uh, not always with best effect you know I then ended up colours mixing a bit but that was okay this was intended to be quite wild in that sense so all I'm doing just now is trying to kind of sketch in the basic face. Now what I didn't say in my intro is those of you in the Art and Soul studio if you share your working group then you will be entered into my next draw for some happy mail. I'll be doing that at the end of uh, June so over the piece of April, May, June anything that you do of mine uh, you know following my prompts you will be entered into that draw and the winner of the giveaway at the end of March was Sylvia from the group and I will put Sylvia's channel down below. I'll put a link to her channel down below. So I did take a little bit of time sketching this out, rubbing out here and there. Uh, you'd see I changed the eyes a bit. I changed the eyes up from the original a bit. I did want to take the whole thing as my inspiration but I wanted to make some changes along the way as well. So I liked the angle that she was kind of coming in at, you know, her head kind of tilted but I've applied that to her whole body here. And when I started to put the hair in I decided that rather than it all kind of coming down the way I almost want to have it kind of going up as if there was a, a breeze or something blowing it up into the air. But, you know, her hair was one of the main inspirations for me. Just the kind of volume of it, the, the fact that it seemed wild, and also that colour, that pink. So as I say, I take a bit of time just to sketch it out. I just want to get my main outline there. I toyed with the idea of lightening some of those lines, taking them out, rubbing them out more, but decided I would leave them because I wanted that kind of sketch to show through in places. So initially I'm just going to use some watercolour, get that colour down, uh, starting with her hair, just mixing up some colour. I, I'm not going to say which colours I'm using here because I was working quite intuitively. I, I wasn't really thinking about the different colours, I was just looking at them and picking the ones that I thought would give me the colour that I needed. And obviously anything you're doing you would be using whatever colours you have anyway which may or, or may not be the same. But I go on through this, I, I start with watercolour, I do some, I start to do some more detailed work with the watercolour and then I bring in some Neocolour 2s which are also water soluble and also I use colour pencil and ultimately a gel pen and a white sharpie pen just to put in some of the detail. So I think now I will just put the rest of this to music so that you can watch the process. If you have any questions about it then please do leave them in the comments below. It may take me a little while to get back to you but I will come back to you at some point. So I hope you enjoy this and I will say a little bit more towards the end.
So, I think I'm calling it done. This was my original piece, which I did a lot quicker than this, but, uh, and I don't think there was any watercolour involved in this, albeit I had used ink tents, which of course uh, is water soluble, although dries permanent. So, what I wanted to capture in this was the hair for a start and that kind of pinkness. I wanted to capture her blue eyes and the kind of rough shape of the face. Uh, I was going to make this pink but decided to pick up the kind of blue of the eyes and then to continue that up into kind of sky up here. But the other thing I wanted to capture was that kind of wild thing, the kind of uh, energy, I guess, that, that, that was in this. When I looked at her, she did feel a wild thing, but there was a kind of vulnerable side to her as well. And I think I just wanted to take that and still capture a little bit of the vulnerable, but also, also a kind of strength in there as well. At the end there, I thought, <laughs> the hair, I wanted to bring out some of the white that I'd captured in this and just some of the sketchiness. And when I started to do that, I felt, yeah, I wanted more sketchiness brought in about this. I didn't want this to be, uh, you know, right at the start, I thought, well, I rub out all my lines entirely, but I decided to leave them and some of them are still in there because I wanted that kind of sense of, of movement, of energy and just a bit of kind of freedom. Definitely the wild thing type of thing. So hope that's it. This will be a long video, so most of it will have been on at least double speed, maybe even four times in places. But uh, I hope you enjoyed watching the process through. And for those of you in the Art and Soul studio, I hope this is a challenge that you'll pick up and run with, using something you've done yourself as your own inspiration. So be your own inspiration. As always, thanks for watching. Bye for now.